The 82 girls were handed over Saturday after lengthy negotiations to exchange them for suspected Boko Haram members. President Buhari postponed the trip to London for medical consultations in order to welcome the girls. On behalf of all Nigerians, I'd like to share my joy with you, your parents, your relatives, friends, and the government of Borno State on regaining your freedom. The released girls were brought by convoy to a military base in Banki near the border with Cameroon. They were flown to Abuja after a medical checkup. A representative of the president met them at the airport. Welcome our girls, welcome our sisters. We're happy to have you back. We're very glad that you are back. And every Nigerian today must be forgetting every other hardship is suffering because it is a very joyous moment. Welcome, welcome, welcome. One of the girls had a broken arm and another an injured leg. They all look tired. The girls that have returned, the life in captivity has been one that um, depicts um, suffering. It depicts the fact that they've been stabbed, they've been um, abused. As we've seen before, some of those girls have come back with children. Um, some of them have also come back, um, you know, you know, with... Um, with news of how they have been sexually abused. Close to 300 girls were kidnapped in April of 2014 by the Islamist group, but dozens managed to escape into the forest before the abductors took them to their camp. The brazen abduction of teenage girls sparked outrage around the world. Parents and activists formed groups to press Nigeria's government for more action to free them from captivity. About 20 were released last October. Each and every one of our 113 girls now in captivity have to be accounted for. And that's so the, the struggle continues. But for today, we are so happy that we have gotten 82. So in total, we have 106 that have been rescued. And we continue making demands for them until each and every one of them is brought back home. Boko Haram has killed an estimated 15,000 people and displaced more than 2 million during a seven-year insurgency aimed at creating an Islamist caliphate in northeastern Nigeria. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.